Hello, Doan here, and welcome to my top 10 shonen anime list. Now, as far as how I determined which anime are shonen and which are not, well, I went to Anime Planet, the website I personally use to keep track of what anime I've watched since, I've, and I've used it since like high school. They have a lot of tags. I mean, you wouldn't even think of like newly co ed school, hotels and inns, they even have a fetish tag. So I went there and used the shonen tag and filtered it to the anime that I have watched slash am watching. I went and jotted down all of the series and I filtered it to to fit the personal criteria of a demographic aimed toward guys ages 15 plus. As what the genre is meant to portray, you don't have to be a 15 year old teenage teenage boy to like them. But that's just the demo, that's just what that's the whole thing for it. The whole what they're aimed to. For, who they're aimed for. Be prepared because like half of the video, maybe more, is going to be listing off the anime that Anime Planet has as shown in, but are being filtered out from what the act to the what to what the actual tag actually is. If you want to skip this part, then I'll put a timestamp here to go to the honorable mentions or the top 10 itself. So all the anime that are rated TVMA are off the list. A quick note that all anime I list off on here are in fact tagged as shown in on Anime Planet, and I only picked anime series, not standalone anime movies. Those that didn't make the list for for age rate for the age rating: Attack on Titan, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Adventure, Black Butler. Later seasons and movies are MA rated. High School DxD, Sad Face. Akame Ga Kill, Mirai Nikki, or Future Diary, To Love Rue, despite the manga technically being in Shonen Jump, Interspecies Reviewers, I know, I'm kind of blown away that they thought that this anime should have a Shonen tag. Sign in, sure, but Shonen? Really? Is this a zombie? Ga Rei Zero, High School of the Dead, Dead Men Wonderland, How Not to Summon a Demon Lord, Domestic Girlfriend, My Wife is a Student Council President, and Mock and Key. Now, let's get rid of the ones that aren't meant to be directed toward guys. Again, girls can enjoy shonen just as much, and vice versa with shoujo and guys. Just putting that out there. Your Lion April, Torador, Quint Quintessential Quintuplets, Sorry Dore Children, Noblesse. I'm, sa I'm saying this one here because of the designs for some of the guys remind me of, like, sh uh, shoujo anime guys. Nisekoi, Beit Khalid, Linear Prisma Ilia, so it's a mouthful. Takonomi and Soul Eater Not. Now my last bit of filtering of the anime that I just personally don't see fitting that shonen tag. Teasing Master Takagi-san, Nichijo, Pokemon The Origin, Bloom Into You, We Never Learn, Rent a Girlfriend, Gabriel Dropout, Yuzaki Chen Wants to Hang Out, Nyan Koi, Happy Sugar Life, and Dagashi Kashi. I think I was able to filter it enough now, but of course, before we get to the top 10s list, let's list off the honorable mentions that aren't in the top 10 and made it through, and made it, but also made it through all that filtering process. The Promised Neverland, Assassination Classroom, The Time I Got Reincarnated as a Slime, Noragami, The Magi Series, Inuyasha, Full Metal Panic, Toilet Bound Hanukkah, The Melancholy of Haru Suzumiya, Sills at Work, Kakagurai, Tonekawa Over the Moon for You, Soul Eater, Seraph of the End, Countless Nana, Trinity 7, Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, Codebreaker, Darwin's Game, Plunder, Bleach, Naruto, mainly because I haven't finished Shippuden yet. Dr. Stone, sorry, I just wasn't into it during the beginning of the first season. Death Note, The Seven Deadly Sins, Blue Exorcist, and ZX Ignition. This video's gonna be a bitch to edit. Under the top 10 list, since this video is long enough already, I won't be having summaries, or actually, I'll have the summary flash on the screen so you can pause, pause it to read it yourself. Onto the list. Number 10, Fairy Tale. Summary. This always will have a special place in my heart. You know, I really couldn't help but have it in the list, even if it's the even if it's lowest of the of the top ten. I I still will always have it in my heart. Number nine, Full Metal Alchemist by, or Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Summary. I think I put the one for Brotherhood up here. Maybe I don't remember. I know people are gonna hate that I put FMA pretty low on the list, but you try to rank so many anime that you just Love. It was hard enough taking some of them out in the honorary mentions. Number eight, Kimono Jihen. Here's a summary. This is actually a newer anime that I personally have been enjoying so friggin' much. 
This is one I recommend anyone to try out. Number seven, Black Clover. Summary. It just gets better and better with every new episode and chapter. Despite a quote-unquote ending in March, I don't know when this video is going up. It could be right, it could be like right before the week, right before the last episode. <laughs> Interesting. But yeah, I love Black Clover. Number six, My Hero Academia. Summary. This is constantly, uh, this is just like without one anime that anyone can just start watching and just enjoy it. It's like a universal, everyone will enjoy this anime kind of, kind of thing. Number five, Food Wars. Summary. I'm always just hungry just thinking about Food Wars. And yes, I also love the food gasms too. Number four, Hunter Hunter. Summary. This is an anime that somewhat has a slow start, but god damn, that Chimera Ant arc was one of the best. Number three, Demon Slayer. Kim Kim I don't, I don't have the. I was gonna try to say, try to do the Japanese, and I just immediately forgot what it was. Anyway, summary. Okay, you should know by now that I love anime with colorful visuals, and this great story and character, and the great story and characters just makes this one. So incredible. Number two, Jujutsu Kaisen. Uh, the summary. I don't know what to say about it, except that the animation is incredibly well done. And my God, I love Panda. Number one, ready for this? Number, the one I put for number one is Fire Force. Summary. I can't help but put the fire. I can't help but put Fire Force at the top here because every week for both season and season one and season two, I was just always so hyped up for every new episode that came out, and I just un I just love unraveling the mystery around the story of that world. Well, those are my personal opinions on what my top ten shonen anime are. You don't have to agree with me, but why don't you tell me what your top ten shonen anime are in the comments? Hit subscribe and the bell to be notified of my future videos, and I hope you'll return for more. Bye-bye.